right, so here's three different brands that we carry. And I'm gonna talk about the differences between the three. We have, now we have our own new Cookie Countess airbrush colors. Um, True Color now has a liquid airbrush. This is a new one. And then Dinky Doodle, which if you've followed me for a while, um, I've been talking about these for a while. So what's the difference? This is the most common or one of the most common email questions I get or social media questions. What's the difference? What's my favorite? So the difference is easy to explain. My favorite is not so easy to explain. So let's start with these. These are water-based airbrush colors. Okay, this is what you're probably most used to working with. And um, they operate in a similar way to other water-based brands such as Chef Master, Amerimist, um, Chroma Color, Lux, which we also carry. And uh, there's probably a couple other ones I'm missing. But basically the, the water-based ones not all brands are the same, but all the water-based ones behave the same in that uh, you can use these on royal icing, on fondant, on crusted buttercream, um, probably some other desserts I'm not thinking of, but, uh, but you can't use it on chocolate. If you've ever tried to, you'll notice it beads up, it doesn't dry, it smudges. Um, so water and chocolate do not mix, okay? The difference now with these to these is that both of these brands are an alcohol base. So they're ethanol, which is a type of alcohol base. And these, you can see right on them, they say paint for chocolate. They both say paint for chocolate. So now you still can use these on royal icing, on fondant, on lots of other things. Um, macaroons, meringues actually too. Um, and chocolate so the difference being that you have that one more application of chocolate between these and these okay so water-based versus alcohol based um, the reason being is that when you spray these out of your airbrush gun um, the ethanol is such a high proof that it actually kind of evaporates right as you spray it so basically it's practically dry by the time it hits uh, the surface of what you're using. So that's why you can use these on chocolate. Whereas, you know, if you're used to using a water-based color, they take um, a not a long time, but a little bit to dry. These will dry automatically, or rather um, instantly, pretty much. So uh, one thing you'll notice right away if you've been shopping is that there's a big price difference between these and a water base. Um, about double the price if not more ounce per ounce uh, these two products are about the same price ounce per ounce but you can see that obviously they come in different size bottles um, and the reason being is because of the the manufacturing process and the alcohol that is um, is used inside of it instead of water so what's my favorite well I don't really have a favorite um, because for one thing uh, they, you might use them for different reasons. So like I said, you might use these on chocolate. You might only use these on real icing. You might be color driven. You know, both of these are orange. This orange is very different from this orange, which is also going to be different than the orange. I know this isn't orange, but <laughs> the orange that we sell. So it might be based on what's your favorite orange or what look are you going for? Is it a more pumpkin orange or a ma more, I don't know, deep, fall orange. Um, another thing to note about the True Color products is that these are an all natural product. They use, uh, they don't use any artificial um, dyes. So your colors are going to be a lot different looking than um, the colors say in this brand, which do use artificial dyes. So a lot of times it might just be color driven, but um, if, if you're worried about using artificial dyes on your desserts, True Color is definitely the way to go, and the colors are phenomenal. Um, one thing you'll also notice if you're using either of these brands is that uh, you need to mix them really well. The mica particles, um, especially when the ones that have shimmer, all the True Color ones are shimmer. Dinky Doodle comes in matte or shimmer, but the color does um, kind of separate from the alcohol as it sits. So each time you go to use it, you need to stir this up with a chopstick and then shake it before you use it. 
Uh, it's just a necessary evil, but that's how they work. So these you don't have to, um, you probably wanna give them a shake, but they don't have the same separation of color to water because it's more the, the color has dissolved into the water. So those are some basic differences. I hope that helps. And um, like I said, you know, do I have a favorite? Maybe I have a favorite gold, or maybe I have a favorite silver, or maybe I, you know, only use these when I'm using chocolate and I use these when I use everything else. But that's really up to you to decide. So I always tell people, you know, buy a couple of each, try them, see what you think, see what you prefer. And, um, but another question I get is, yes, you can use all of these brands in any brand airbrush color. I mean, airbrush machine, sorry. So you can use these in any brand airbrush, airbrush machine. You don't have to say use the cookie countess colors in a cookie countess machine. Um, as long as you're just using that machine for food color and not paint or anything else like that, you can use any food color airbrush in your airbrush machine. So I hope that helps and um, let me come back and probably show you some differences maybe in using them and the differences in maybe some of the colors. All right, thanks. All right, so first up here, we're gonna use some Cookie Countess Outrageously Orange water-based color. We're gonna use, um, I have some little chick cookies left over from Easter. <laughs> so we're gonna use these for our experiments here. I've got this on uh, about medium airspeed. Just gonna spray a little, make sure everything's spraying nicely. And then start to cover. Don't get too close, you'll end up with pooling. You wanna do a light, even spray over the whole thing. If you wanna catch the sides, you can come in for the sides. And that's it, you get a lot of color without having to spray a long time. This is definitely still wet, so I'm not gonna touch the top of this yet. Um, and we'll come back and try this out in a few minutes and see if it's dried yet. Next, we're gonna do Dinky Doodle. All right, next we're gonna use um, Dinky Doodle orange matte color. I've already stirred this really well. Remember, you have to get the chopstick in here, stir it up, and then give it a good shake before you start. When you're covering the whole cookie, make sure you use a light touch. Don't spray too much at once. Um, even with one of these that dries instantly, you can still get spots on it if you're spraying too much at once. So go easy, build the color slowly. I find Dinky Doodle often will kind of look like there's not a lot of color and then all of a sudden it's like, oh, there's the color. But once it layers up, um, it looks a lot darker. So this is definitely like, I'm definitely covering the whole thing and making sure we got a full, full orange color. All right, so here is our Dinky Doodle. And this is already dry. So you don't have to worry about that. So that's um, a great advantage of the Dinky Doodle is the instant dry. All right, and next up we have True Color Liquid Orange Shine. Um, remember this again is an alcohol based color and this uh, only comes in a shimmer. And I've got a bunny this time, still left over from Easter. <laughs> this has a gorgeous sheen to it. I'm just gonna turn this around. All right, and this should be pretty much dry to the touch. I'm gonna give it an, oops, sorry. I didn't realize I was out of camera. Um, I can feel there's just a teeny bit of tackiness to it, so I'm gonna let this sit just for a second, and then I'm gonna come back and show you all three that we did. All right, so here's the oranges um, we did. The first one is the Cookie Countess Orange. This is, um, it's been about 15 minutes. It's still a tiny bit tacky, like I wouldn't bag this, but you could certainly pipe over it if you wanted to. Um, keep in mind too, we did a full coverage over the entire cookie. Um, when you're stenciling, you're usually losing a lot less color, so it's gonna dry faster. 
Um, and even though this is technically a matte color, it does still have a bit of a gloss to it as opposed to the Dinky Doodle Orange Matte. You can see there's a huge difference in um, the surface of it. The Dinky Doodle definitely is flat, flat matte. Um, it feels different too to the touch. Like I said, it almost has like a velvety uh, finish to it, but it has really nice coverage, it's very even. And then uh, here's the True Color Liquid Orange Shine. So you can see it has a gorgeous shimmer to it. Really, really pretty color. This is totally dry too. And um, they're also very different shades of orange. So like I was saying before, you may have a favorite that you always use. You may pick and choose different oranges for what you're doing. If you're doing, you know, fall pumpkins, maybe this looks more like a pumpkin to you than this. Maybe for fall leaves that you want to shimmer, you might use this. Um, so I know it is technically uh, May right now, but maybe bookmark this for <laughs> October when you're making pumpkins. Um, but this might be a great, you know, preppy orange to go along with a hot pink and a bright green. So, you know, you may just be driven by the color. You may be driven by the, the surface uh, look of the cookie when you're done. As it, does it have a sheen? Does it not have a sheen? So there's a big difference in the outcome of these. They're all great to work with, uh, but you can see, it, you know, it's not oranges to oranges. So, <laughs> and then uh, let me show you some other ones I did for comparison. On to red, here's some reds I did. Um, first off is the Cookie Countess Royal Red Velvet. This has a really deep red, maybe a blood red, um, would be gorgeous on a rose. The next one is the Dinky Doodle Red Matte. Again, you can see that super matte finish, almost velvety finish and um, really nice coverage again. And then this is the True Color Liquid Red Shine. Very different shade of red. It has a gorgeous sheen to it and also has excellent coverage. So all three of these are beautiful reds, but again, they're very different reds and have a different sheen or finish to them. So you may like one better than the other. You may keep all three in your cookie pantry and choose to use them for different reasons. Um, but again, three different reds, three different outcomes. And last but certainly not least, I have some golds to show you. So first up is the Cookie Countess Water Base 14 Karat Gold. This is definitely a very yellow gold. Has a nice, nice sheen to it. Good coverage. Um, you can see this is over a white cookie. Can't see any of the white through it. And um, this also dries really nicely, has a nice even finish. Next up is Dinky Doodle Gold Pearl. Definitely a very different gold tone from the first one. Um, has a gorgeous metallic sheen to it. This again, you can use on chocolate, like I was saying in the beginning, dries nicely, has great coverage. And then finally, we have the True Color Liquid Gold Shine. This has um, almost like a powdery gold finish to it, maybe more of a champagne gold. But again, which gold is my favorite? I get asked this all the time, and honestly, I would use them all. Maybe I'd use them for different reasons under different circumstances depending on what you're doing with the rest of your design. But really, you just can't go wrong. Some of it may come down to which product do you like working with better, which product uh, saves you the most money, which product gives you the color that your clients most ask for. So um, all these things are gonna come into play when you're choosing what brand of airbrush color to use. So I hope this video maybe took some of the mystery out of different airbrush brands for you and what makes them different and what makes them all special. And I uh, would love to hear your comments, questions, and experiences with them as well. Have a great day.